Grace and peace. I am Kimberly Joy and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. Now the first thing I want to do is invite you to my upcoming play. The play is entitled, I'm Not My Mama. I'm Not My Mama centers on Terry, a businesswoman, a wife, and a mother. In fact, she's a very successful businesswoman, yet her life is, is slowly unraveling. This play will make you laugh, laugh a lot in fact. It may even make you cry. But by the end, you will be enlightened. Now, this is not my one-woman show for those who saw that before. This is a regular stage play with a full cast. This play stars myself, Kimberly Joy, Sylvia Woods, Mark Ward, and Sherry Roper. There will be musical performances by Greg Lattimore, Kevin and Janae, Blessed, and the Prophetic Mind Ministry. And it is hosted by China Horton O'Leighton. The play will be Saturday, March 20th at 5 p.m. The doors open at 4.30. It will be held at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy, Ohio at the Hilltop Plaza. Now, to see the play in person, you may look for the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. Or you can call 513-417-0097. Again, that is 513 513- 417-0097. The tickets are $10 in advance and $15 at the door. Now to view the play online, just go to eventbrite.com and search for I'm Not My Mama. And I thank you in advance for your support. Now last week I honored the Queen of Gospel, Mahalia Jackson. And so today I thought it only appropriate to honor the woman who became her protege and who was also hailed as queen of gospel. Who am I talking about? Yes, Albertina Walker. Albertina Walker was born the youngest of nine children to Reuben and Camille Coleman Walker on August 29th, 1929 in Chicago, Illinois. She started singing at a very young age at West Point Baptist Church. In fact, she sang with different gospel groups. As a little girl, she sang with the Pete Williams Singers. As a teenager, she sang with the Willie Webb Singers and the Robert Anderson Singers. She even went on the road with her mentor, Mahalia Jackson. After Robert Anderson retired, in 1952, Albertina Walker formed her own group, the Caravans. In fact, Walker says this about the Caravans. When the producers asked me what to call the group, I thought caravans would be nice since we gospel singers were forever traveling on the road. The caravans included Bessie Griffin, Inez Andrews, Cassietta George, Dorothy Norwood, and Imogene Green, and then James Cleveland came along as their piano player. Then in 1958, a teenage Shirley Caesar joined the group. The caravans became a well-known traditional gospel group and they traveled all over the U.S. and even Europe. Even though Albertina Walker was the founder of the group, she gave everyone a chance to lead songs. The caravans, and I quote, represented a high point in female ensemble singing. Here was a group in which every backup singer had the technique and the vocal equipment to stand as a soloist. Also, unlike some contemporary gospel artists who incorporated blues and jazz sounds, the caravans remain true to the, tr to the traditional gospel sound. Some of their hits include Mary Don't You Weep, Sweeping Through the City, and Lord Keep Me Day by Day. Even though the caravans were well known and talented, the struggle was real. See, they didn't make a lot of money. And they still had to deal with a lot of discrimination, especially in the South. Eventually, different group members began leaving to pursue solo careers. And the group disbanded in 1967. In fact, Albertina Walker is known for launching, and I quote, more gospel careers out of one group than anyone else. Although the group was no longer together, Albertina still stayed connected with members. In fact, in 1968, she and James Cleveland founded the Gospel Workshop of America. And today, it has over 150 chapters, 
with 30,000 members. Wow. By the 1970s, Albertina Walker also became a solo artist with different church choirs backing her up. In 1975, she released Put a Little Love in Your Heart. All together, Albertina Walker has recorded more than 50 albums, including I Can Go to God in Prayer and Joy Will Come. Here are some of her other accomplishments. Albertina Walker was active in politics, working with Reverend, Jane, Reverend Jesse Jackson and organizing the Operation Push People's Choir. In 1988, she founded the Albertina Walker Scholarship Foundation for the Creative and Performing Arts. Her foundation offers financial assistance for college students in the form of scholarships to further their education in the field of music. In 1992, and I remember this, she was featured in the film Leap of Faith starring Steve Martin. The following year, she performed a concert for Nelson Mandela during his visit to the U.S. In 1995, Albertina Walker won a Grammy Award for the Best Traditional Soul Gospel Album. In 2001, she was inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. In 2002, President George W. Bush honored Ms. Walker for her contribution to gospel music in a White House ceremony. After dealing with respiratory problems for some time, Albertina Walker died on October 8, 2010 at the age of 81. What stands out to me the most about Albertina Walker is her selflessness. As, as, as I mentioned, the caravans, yes, they were the group that she founded, but she allowed others in the group to shine. And because of that, they were able to go on and have successful solo careers. People like Inez Andrews and Dorothy Norwood and James Cleveland and the one and only Shirley Caesar. In fact, this is what Shirley Caesar had to say. And I'll leave you with this. The Lord used the caravans as a bridge to bring me to where I am today. And I praise him for that. They were happy days. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, Please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried. And I believe you rose again so I can be free. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my life. And be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. I am now saved. Now, I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to our church. Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We're at 8120 Hamilton Avenue at the Hilltop Plaza in Mount Healthy, Ohio. Sunday service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible study, 7 p.m. And every Thursday, we are giving away free food from 4 to 6 p.m. To contact me, please email the Kimberly Joyce Show at gmail.com or call 513 513- 417-0097. You may follow the Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You may donate to the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. And now, go back with me to 1981 to hear my favorite Albertina Walker song, I Can Go to God in Prayer. <laughs> 